all about hippos. The hippopotamus, whose skin alone can weigh half a tonne, is the third largest living land mammal after elephants and white rhinos. A hippo's foot has four webbed toes which splay out to distribute weight evenly. The greyish body has very thick skin which is virtually hairless. The hippo has neither sweat or cetaceous glands. Relying on water or mud to keep cool, it does however secrete a vicious red fluid which protects the animal's skin against the sun. Two hippo species are found in Africa. The large hippo found in East Africa occurs in the south of Zahara. This social living mammal is so numerous in some areas that cropping schemes are used to control populations that have become larger than the habitat can sustain. The other, much smaller species of hippo is the pygmy hippopotamus. Limited to very restricted ranges in West Africa, it is shy, solitary, forest dwellers are now rare. Hippos have flexible social systems defined by hierarchy and by food and water conditions. Usually, there are they are found in mixed groups of about 15 individuals held by a territorial bull. But in periods of drought, large numbers are forced to congregate near limited pools of water. This overcrowding disrupts the hierarchical system, resulting in even higher levels of aggression. With the oldest, strongest males most dominant, old scars and fresh deep wounds are a sign of daily fights that are accompanied by many vocalisations. A young hippo is born on land or in shallow water. In water, the mother helps the newborn to the surface, later teaching it to swim. Newly born hippos are relatively small, weighing from 55 to 120 pounds. They are protected by mothers, not only from crocodiles and lions, but from male hippos that, oddly enough, do not bother them on land but attack them in water. Hippos are surprisingly agile and often climb steep banks each night to graze on grass. They exit and enter water at the same spots and graze for four to five hours, covering one or two miles with extended forays of up to five miles. Their modest appetites are due to their sedentary life, which does not require how high outputs of energy. The hippo once ranged from the Nile Delta to the Cape now is the mostly confined to protected areas. Also, sadly, hippos are being pushed towards extinction by unstabilised demand for their teeth underwater, irregulated hunting for their meat, skin and teeth, combined with shrinking habitats and increased hippo-human conflict, have led to the decline in populations across the whole of Africa. That is why we need to protect hippos. And luckily, the African Wildlife Foundation is doing just that. On their website, it tells you what they're doing to protect not just hippos, but all animals in Africa. I'll leave a link down if you want to check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'll leave a link down to that website below in the description. Also, if you want to watch a really inspiring video, I'd recommend you to watch this video right on the screen now. It's about hope for the future for animals in Africa. And I'd really recommend you to watch it. I'll leave a link down as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, please subscribe if you like the video because we're close to 300 now. Um, thanks for all the support recently. I'm really um, grateful for it. Um, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.